think something that's uh, absolutely necessary for traders to understand, part of what we just talked about, Marion, we, we just said if then a lot. And, right. you know, heading into the week, heading into the day, heading into the trade, and even when you're in the trade, you absolutely must consistently be saying to yourself, if this, then I'm doing this. If then, then I'm doing this. And that's where you get away from having – uh, an opinion and you're more having a bias. So in other words, you're setting up a probability of what could or should happen in your perspective based on how you look at the charts, but then you're always setting up, but then I am doing this either way. And, and I think that's probably something that uh, needs to be discussed more. You know, we're, we're setting up probabilities and if this happens, then we're doing this. We're not saying if this happens, I'm closing my eyes and I'm doing it. I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything. Great traders are always prepared for both sides of the market. Of course, you you want to see the market move in the direction that your bias is, and, and it makes the trade much easier. But you need both sides, and and especially if you're early in your, your career, and especially if you're day trading, you need to be able to make decisions definitively and quickly. So while you're in a trade, you must constantly be saying to yourself, what am I doing no matter what? So you need ideas on both sides of the market, both for profit target as well as if it moves against you. You can't be surprised for one side of the price action. So you must set if-then scenarios. And I've seen more traders get ran over by only looking at one side of the market because they never expected the other side of the market to happen. So again, making it clear, we're setting up probabilities and possibilities. We're not setting up absolutes. And I think that's very, very important. Right. Hoping and praying is not a, a good game plan. No, it, it'll blow your account up, and, and I've seen it done. I've done it, um, and it, it's just not the right way to trade. You have to you have to have an absolute bias of what you expect to happen, but you have to be definitive that anything can happen.